Dire Straits, that's what totally hooked me. Uh, when I was in eighth grade, my dad bought me the Dire Straits album. First album he'd ever bought me, I think the last album he ever bought me. But a total game changer because that song, uh, Salt and the Swing, pretty much taught me everything that I'm still using to this day. The coolest thing about it to me was the way Mark Knopfler incorporates arpeggios. Basically, he follows the changes. His solos all kind of follow these arpeggios. I mean, for the most part. Uh, and it also taught me about relative minors. But first, let's talk about that first part. So the intro. Just that D minor groove, but... So all he's doing on that very cool riff is just, just basically outlining the chord. And also the, his use of vibrato. He's always just making every note count. There's nuance in every note. And uh, the very cool solo at the end. Okay, at the, at the end it has that big jam where it's just going from a D minor to a B flat to a C. So the rhythm is like. And he does that very cool outro where it's. And what you can see he's doing, the first, is just an arpeggio of that D minor. And then this is a D is a B flat. Think of it about your your B flat right there, just that D position. And then up to a C. So Before I learned that, literally everything I played was just, just pentatonic. So the band might be changing, but I wasn't. I was just on that one the whole time. And when I heard that, I thought, oh, you can go with the changes. That was huge. And the other really cool thing that that song taught me is, um, you know, the verse is in that D minor. Get a shit out of the dark, it's raining in the fog. But then it goes to the B section. Competition in other places. So when I heard that that F, at the time I'd been playing in D minor. But then I realized that the D minor scale and the F were the same scale, same notes, the relative minor. So it made me understand that. You can play the same notes, but when you change the context underneath it, it changes everything. So it's that kind of dark thing when it's on the D minor. Then you get in the F. Suddenly it just lifts and it's happy. So that's stuff I've used in songwriting and arranging and everywhere for the rest of my life. So I owe you, Mark Knopfler, a huge debt of gratitude, and my dad for buying me that awesome record. So play on, amigos. Love each other.